So today I'm going to read to you the 23rd Psalm, which is very, very familiar to all of us. But I'm going to read it from the message. So the language is a lot more contemporary and, and um, just more accessible, I think, to regular old people. And we're regular old people, right? I think. Listen now for the word of God. The Lord. God, my shepherd, I don't need a thing. You have bedded me down in lush meadows. You find me quiet pools to drink from. True to your word, you let me catch my breath, and you send me in the right direction. Even when the way goes through Death Valley, I'm not afraid. When you walk by my side, your trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. You serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head. My cup brims with blessing. Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks. 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 Let us pray. Holy and awesome are you, Almighty God. Bless us through the anointing of your spirit that we might celebrate, that we might know that we are your children, that you are our shepherd, that you are our God. Bless us, God, in this time. Help us to love you more. Help us to know you better. The way that you know us, help us to know you that way. Thank you, God. We praise you. Amen. Timmy was a, a little five-year-old boy whose mommy loved him very much. She worried about little Timmy all of the time. And so when it was finally time for Timmy to go to school, he was five years old, it was kindergarten time, um, she had a really hard time letting him go. And so even though school was walking distance from their house, she had a hard time letting him go by himself. So the first several days of school, Timmy's mommy walked with him every day to school. And um, every day she was there to meet him after school and walk him home. And, and one day little Timmy said, Mommy, you know, I want to be with the big boys now. Is, is it okay if you don't walk me to school anymore so that I can be with the big boys? And so very reluctantly, Timmy's mommy said, Okay, Timmy, I won't walk with you anymore. In the back of her worrying mind, though, Timmy's mother had another plan. She asked their good neighbor friend, Mrs. Goodnest, if she would follow Timmy every day on the way to school so that he would be okay, so they'd have somebody that cared about him, kind of watch after him, you know, just at a distance so Timmy wouldn't notice. And Mrs. Goodnest thought that was a good idea. She was up early every day anyway because she had a little toddler daughter, and um, she thought this would be a good way for um, she and her daughter to get some exercise. And so every day the next week, as Timmy and his buddy would walk to school together, Mrs. Goodness and her little girl would walk behind them and watch over them. After a few days of this, Timmy's friend noticed that they were being followed. And he goes, Timmy, have you noticed that that lady keeps following us every day? And he said, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, well, do you know? He said, oh, yeah, that's, that's Mrs. Goodness and, uh, and her daughter, who's Marcy. And, um, you know, I know her. She's my neighbor. And he said, well, why do you think she's following us? And Timmy said, my mother loves me very much, and she worries a lot. And, and so every night when we say our prayers, we um, recite the 23rd Psalm. And uh, you get to the part where it says, surely goodness and mercy, Marcy, shall follow me all the days of my life. <laughs> I just decided I might as well get used to it. <laughs> it was a good joke if you didn't mess up the punch. <laughs> oh, wow. What a great little story. The 23rd Psalm is a very familiar one to us. Why do we know the 23rd Psalm so much? Why do we know that? Funerals. We hear it at funerals all the time, don't we? Um, in fact, I, I don't think I've ever done a funeral without, I've done lots of funerals. I don't think I've ever done one without including the 23rd Psalm. Um, not necessarily because it's my own personal favorite, because it is a very, very beautiful, powerful piece of scripture, but because it brings comfort to so many people. And even people who don't have a real strong faith base, Know at least the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. They know that line. And so it gives them an entry point, a place where they can identify with what's going on, and a place where they can, even if they're not extremely faithful people, they can grab a little piece of God's comfort as the good shepherd um, with them. Um, I must confess, I, I do. You probably, were, was anybody offended when I read from the message instead of King Jimmy's version? 
um, because we all know it by the King James Version. And I must confess that as um, my favorite version of the scripture, as you know, is the New International Version, but I, I have to show you my page on the 23rd Psalm. This is the 23rd Psalm in the NIV. This is King Jimmy pasted in there. Just because, you know, it doesn't quite sound right if you do it in any other version, does it? Because we're so familiar with the way we all memorize it in uh, King James Version. And uh, so there it is. And it's kind of like the Lord's Prayer. Um, sometimes you say the Lord's Prayer and sometimes you pray the Lord's Prayer. And um, you notice that when you stop and really pray the Lord's Prayer, do you ever lose your place? Isn't that embarrassing? Especially if you're the leader. I did a wedding one time and they go, uh, you missed the whole phrase in the Lord's Prayer. I'm like, oh, well, I was praying. <laughs> I was praying and not just saying. Um, and, and that's the same way for me with the 23rd Psalm. So a lot of times when I'm using it for funerals or for whatever, I want to have it in front of me because I don't want to mess it up. Because I want to remember it and I want to think through it. But I want to invite you because you know it so well. Because it's such a familiar piece of scripture to you. I want to invite you to join me. And let's say it. The King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff may comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runneth over. Oh, see, when we were saying it, I led us and we missed it up. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It brings us comfort. It, it makes us remember a time. Um, anybody think of a time when you heard that scripture? Does that bring you back to being at the bedside of someone who often use it with people who are dying? Don't we? We often, we often stand by someone's bedside and, and recite that psalm or, or use it at their funerals. The funny thing is, if you really listen to that scripture, it is really all about life. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that, it's not about death. It's about God's protection as we walk through dangerous places in our lives. So this psalm is not at all about death. It's about God and how God knows us and how God loves us. 